septiembre hasta agosto. Ya me sin cone, lo que digan tú a mí, ya yo me welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing this makeup look for you guys and stay tuned if you like what you're watching and bomb it's so easy like I'm obsessed right now but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video today I'm gonna be doing a review on this new foundation that I got I went to Ulta and I bought this oh by the way yay I bought this morphe never tried their morphe setting spray so I'm gonna for sure I'm excited to try that what else did I buy that's all I bought I could have sworn I bought like a few things and then I also bought this this is a L'Oreal infallible wear um so Alondra made a recent video and she said she loves this foundation and I was like let me go try it since her makeup is always popping, I'm like, girl, I need to try it. And I also have a little white clot going on right here. I added um, Pelón Pelorico. So it's pretty bomb. Since I don't have chamoy or any of that, so I just added that. You guys know that I'm a huge advocate for SPF. Like, you need, need, need to take care of your skin. So... Oh, and I forgot this has SPF in it. So I already have SPF on, but this also has SPF. So we're going to be doing a test wear on this. So um, like I said, Alondra um, Desi, you guys know Alondra Desi. She's like big and huge on Instagram, all social media. Alondra's makeup is always popping. So I'm like, let me give it a try. Also in drugstores at Ulta especially, now because of COVID, you can't really test the foundations. And I don't know if you really can actually, like even without COVID. This is $4.75. Let's hope it matches me. Oops. I feel like it's already like too yellow for me. And my skin is more like olive. She does put a lot, so I'm just going to like put a lot as well. Because if Alondra is popping, I want to be popping too. I have this little... I forgot what... It is damped though, so let's see if we like it. It kind of does match my neck actually. Tr always try to take the foundation on your neck, down your neck. So like... Oh wow, it does match me. Okay. Um, Honestly right away it freaking does a bomb job i should have shown you guys my bad skin right here i haven't blended like but you guys can see that bad skin right there let's cover that it kind of smells like like perfume to me like a, it, it has like a scent is it my sponge no, I'm pretty sure it's the foundation. It smells like perfume. Wow, that gives me bomb coverage. Look at that. Okay, Alondra. Okay. That looks bomb. What the fuck? Whoa. Okay, on the camera, my skin looks really, really good. But in person, I'm looking at it and it looks just as good. Like, what? Like, you see coverage, like it covers really good, but it looks really natural at the same time. Dude, I'm so happy, like it matches me. Oh my god, yes. It kind of smells like Daisy, a little like a soft, gentle. And then she goes in with um, tart Shape Tape. And then, so obviously she is, um, I feel like I'm darker than her, so I don't know what shade she uses, but... I'm just kind of basically trying to recreate her same exact things that she uses. Mmm, bomb, dude. What the hell? This is for sure my go to now. Oh, wow. She takes it like all the way here and stuff, but I don't want to do that. Like, I feel like that's too much work. I'm the type of person that if I can, like, try to not do that much work i will try to do that like not go that extra mile i guess 
going to use like a slightly brighter shade just for like the very inner part right here. What? Oh my god, I literally can't get over my skin. It looks freaking bomb. I also repurchased this because I always rave about this and because I'm running out. And I didn't know what shade I was, so I ended up picking a completely different shade. But I feel like for the most part, I'm really good with picking my shade. So this is the new one I bought. It's 140 and this one is 225 So that's like huge difference. But we'll see. I'll test it out afterwards. And she also does um, her baking with airspun. I have this one. This one's a translucent extra coverage. I just hate it. It's so, so, so messy. So I love that it gives you like such a high coverage, like the best, bombest coverage. I've tried like a lot of multiple um, setting powders and I feel like this gives you the best, best coverage for like dude, really, really affordable. Like I think this is like $5. I'm like, dude, we buy setting powders for like $30 when this is like $5 at Walmart and it gives you like even better coverage. And my nose does get super oily, so we're going to put some there. So my birthday's coming up and I, for the longest time, I've really wanted to go to Cabo San Lucas and I'm like, girl, I gotta go. Like, I gotta go. It's now or never. Like... But that's in the plans and I really, really, really hope I can go because, oh my god, I want to go so bad. While that's baking, I'm going to fill in my brows. So I'm picking up this Wet n Wild powder and I don't usually fill in my eyebrows with pomade or any of that. I feel like I love powder because it you have full, full control. Like with pomade, you like... If you mess up, it's kind of hard to clean up. And with powder, it's like your brows look so natural. And yet, like, if I mess up, I can just, like, clean it up a little and it comes off right away. I just basically follow my natural la lashes. I kind of brush the front so that it doesn't look too filled in. Dude, my sister's really having a party in there. I think me and my sister should make more videos. Ah, oh, the powder. Oh, wow, the brows look bomb. Okay, I always go with mascara just to like fill them in a little. Not really fill them in, but just to like set them. Take off my this. Ew, my lips are dry. So now I'm gonna pick up Hula bronzer with this brush this brush is from the name came off so and then take it right here it literally glides on and then i'm grabbing some blush and then i'm just putting it right here just like right here just so like like when i smile it's like you know oh it's so cute Something about nose contouring, I love. So like, I just feel like, dude, you have the power to make your nose look like you have a whole nother nose. Like, whoa. Like I said, makeup is art. Literally have fun with it. Like, if you start off and you do your makeup and you hate it because I had those days, I still have those days sometimes. Like, I do a full beat and I don't like it. But makeup is meant to use to have fun with. It's kind of like I see it as like a self self love moment, where you just like look at yourself in the mirror and then you just like enhance whatever you want to enhance. You want if you like there's something you don't like, you can fix it with makeup. Like for the longest time, 
I hated my nose and I was like I'm gonna get a nose job eventually and now like I and the ended up like growing into loving my nose i'm pretty much finished with my face i just need my eyes so i'm gonna set this and for that i'm excited to try the morphe um setting spray this let's put this to the test that feels good the setting spray has like a it also has a perfume scent with it, but I can't really, like I don't, I don't know, it smells like flowers. Damn, that way when someone comes and like tries to give me a kiss, I'm gonna smell real good. Like I can smell my face, like the smell comes to me and it smells good, like I'm glad my face smells like that. I'm using my Kat Von D liner for the sharpness. And I'm using the Wet n Wild Liquid Liner in Mega Black. Black Neor, sorry. I always use this or just anything with a really sharp, precise end. Now that I already drew that and have an outline to it, now I can go in with this to fill it in. Mm. I don't have like a lash brand that I use because downtown LA is a hookup like girl lashes can be so expensive but downtown LA take advantage if you live in LA because I drive from Santa Barbara to LA to get lashes damn the power of freaking lashes like on this side I look like and on this side I'm like oh she's coming together Oh god, okay. Pick up this naked urban decay palette. I'm going to go with I was gonna say pricey. Wow, this is privacy and this is devilish. So these two shades and then I'm just gonna go like under my right here. I ran into this guy that I know from high school and he was I saw him at the gym and I didn't even recognize him. He looked like Porque estaba flaquito and now he's like built. I'm like, oh shit, like is that him or is it not him? Like we started talking, he was like, I wanted to say hi and I thought it was you, but I wasn't sure because you look different. You did something different to your hair. And I was like, yes, I did. Like I did do something different to my hair. I chopped it off. I've always had very long hair. I do look really different. Like I don't look like me. Like not like, but in a good way. Like I feel like I'm my looks are slowly changing but in a good way so for lips i'm going to be using mix and it's called after hour okay. so this is so cool like i never knew this until my cuñada told me that apparently like if you take this off this is a sharpener and it sharpens this because over time it gets really like thick like it's not sharp anymore but the good thing is like it, it's like a little sharpener so you just sharpen it but i'm like very like cola like I, I like to like make the best use of it so i'm not going to sharpen it because what a waste of product so i'm just going to outline my lips and i do love to outline my lips especially like the bottom part and like my cupid's bow so when i come here i go way underneath like so like oh god that looks cute okay so like i just underline hecka like down here but once it goes up to here i just go to my regular lips i'm going with my favorite this is stockholm from nyx as well Come on in, honey. Let's see. Oh my god, you look so cute. What the hell? Oh, look, I tested this foundation. Like yeah, look. It's good. Oh my god, it gives you full coverage. Yes or no pass. Yes. Pass or no pass. Okay, so I just finished my makeup. Um, I'm changing now, but I... I, I bought this so I went shopping and then I bought a bunch of clothes and I was thinking about doing a try on haul but then I was like I don't know but then maybe I'm like I should 
dude the foundation is really good it looks really like damn anyways thank you guys for watching i really really appreciate your support it means the world to me and i'm never gonna stop saying that like thank you guys for watching like oh god say hi comment down below let me know what's good i love you guys with all my heart and continue to grow i'm always going to preach that continue to grow mentally physically because that's what my youtube is all about like grow glow gain like grow mentally grow fit by reading books grow physically go to the gym take care of yourself and glow baby like boo look she's glowing like she is thriving she's shining she's yes do everything for yourself take care of yourself love yourself nurture yourself spoil yourself like dude you only live once and <sighs> yeah antes me daba mucha pena like vestirme así like i'll be like no no like i would, I would wear crop i would buy a bunch of crop tops but never wear them because i was so insecure with my body like, i would always buy crop tops and wear big old sweaters over them and finally i started to gain confidence in myself like okay like like this i would never wear because i'd be i'll be like i don't have no boobs but then i'm like so well like i've seen so many pretty girls that i love the way they dress and like they wear cleavage shirts without no boobies popping out and they still like pull it off so good and i was like i should do that so that's what i'm doing and i feel really comfortable we Whereas before, I would feel very insecure, but now I'm like starting to gain confidence, a lot of confidence in myself. So that's why I say grow mentally, physically, take care of yourself, love yourself, because we only live once. Once we're old, well, why would we want to like, I mean, no, like if you still want to dress like this, dress like this. But my whole point is like, dude, we look bomb once and then after it's gone like you know what I mean so enjoy your youth love yourself take care of yourself that's my preaching point so yeah I love you guys thank you for watching bye